And we are live! Hi, everybody! Ray Ray, good to go to have you. Kiko, good to go to have you. Tracy, good to go to have you. Raven, good to go to have you. Ray, good to go to have you. Got ice cream for dessert tonight and nice cold salad for dinner. Oh. I highly recommend AC to everyone. It is very beneficial. It's storming here right now, which is actually keeping the games quite cold. I'm gonna pop you guys out in chat. How's audio? Huh? Everything's sounding good? I'll eat strawberries and creams. Y'all talking about your food. I have something fun to share with you guys. Uh, Infinite! Good to be glad to have you. Good time to unwind after me dying inside after Ruby Gwibber Farm. Did you get your did you get your gwib though? It's your boy! And Elio here as well. Great, good to see glad to have you. Can you guys hear me? everything good? Is everything good on the audio side? I wonder if there's just a small delay on this side. Yep, all good. Okay. Cool. Well, then, guess what I have? I have something fun. I have ugh, a package which has my Final Fantasy 16 Collector's Edition in it. Because my partner, unbeknownst to me, went and saw that they got more of the uh, supply for it, and she went and bought me a set. So, holy moly. comes with a physical copy of the game, that's nice. At least my PS5 is a physical PS5, so I still use it. But... Uh, oh, it comes with a steelbook, too. Nice. Interesting, it's just Clive's face. <laughs> they have so much cool art, you think they would have chosen something a little different than just putting Clive's face on it. The Realms of Valisthea wall banner. Wall banner. Oh, just little banners to go on the wall. So the difference, so we've got, okay, so you've got Kingdom of Walud. We've got the Crystal Dominion. We've got, ooh, we got Rosaria. We got the Delmechian Republic. We've got the Holy Empire Sembrek. And we've got the Iron Kingdom. Boom. Those are cool. Test, test. Uh... Fly for the steel. Oh, that looks like the sides because the inside you can see Ifrit. Oh, the, the Ifrit's very cool. Clive face for Steelbox pre order bonus was over here. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Big box. Yeah, let's open that big box now. Oh. Ooh, I need something sharp. No momento, por favor. And this is making me one of these boxes are so nice. It's making me want to start to collect the um the ones from 14 all over again. I know Ray Ray got on that and uh which one was it that you got? Ray Ray was it a 1.0 box that you were really excited for? Uh yeah, the Amano Arts Amano artwork for sure. I wonder if that's supposed to be Ultima. And then you got Odin, one Slepnir, you've got Bahamut down there. You've got the Phoenix and Shiva and Ramu. And then you've just got something in the middle that I and then Titan down there. I believe that's probably on top, yeah, it's the Final Fantasy 16 Amano artwork. Seven parts and I'm finally opening the game. You have to wonder, what was I doing for all those uh, parts beforehand, for sure. Okay. 
let's see what is in this bad boy. Because I literally didn't even let myself look because I wasn't expecting to get one. So I don't actually know all of what's in it. Which I'm, but I am very excited because I usually don't ever let myself get these, these sorts of things. Very lucky that my partner... Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. For a second there, it looked like a shoebox. Assuming it doesn't come with shoes. Not like they know my size. Ugh. That box is still very pretty. And so is this one. Hello. Oh my lord. Is that a statue? Oh, that's very... Oh my god, it's Phoenix and Ifrit. I love how even in the I, the like logo for 16, Phoenix and Ifrit um, look like they're doing battle. And yet, as we know now, so far what we've seen in, in at least the section of Sam Breck, if anything, they're more unified than they are antagonistic. It makes me wonder if, you know, Ifrit and Phoenix are meant to be as one as one fire uh, elemental and it was split between them. Or if the role of Mythos it just allows them to combine with any of the icons will that are willing to unite with them i mean seeing as we can steal others power it makes sense right oh. Oh. now the question is does it come with an emote code let's hope not You need Ifrit's infernal strength to open this stuff up. Oh, I see. That's why it's actually taking that. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. I don't suppose the light's up or anything, no. That'd be fun if I could, like, maybe, like, drill in an LED to light up from below. Looks like there's a lot of... Looks like the feet are semi-opaque, so I could probably try to light that up from below. Ugh, let's put this in the back. Yeah, in the short term, I think that'll work. That's definitely a look, right? And then, got this, whatever this is. Interesting. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like... I feel like a map is one of the objects that I remember. I do remember seeing came with this, which will be very exciting. If it comes with the map of Belstea. Oh, yep. We got us a cloth map of Alistea, which I feel like, you know, some people would just feel like, oh, that's a total white tchotchke. Who cares about that? But I will say for me, that is everything. Hell yeah. Interesting. It's got all the crystals on it. So it's the map from the start of the game. Interesting. Figure out a place to put that. And then we've got a oh interesting, another steel book. That's that's fat. That's gorgeous, though. It's even embossed a little. 
Ugh. Yeah, that's definitely the steelbook I'll be using. Okay. No, I got two steelbooks, but I'm not even gonna question it. Also, that had two discs. Is the game is the game two discs big? Big screen. Ooh! I'm look. I'm miss. I'm not usually Mr. Pins, but it's pins of all the different icons. Interesting. And there are eight, which and one of them's Ifrit and one of them's Phoenix, which means that. And Shiva is one of them. So I'm assuming Shiva is going to be our final power. Maybe there just is no water uh, icon. That seems so interesting because they specified that there's one for each element and that there was... Huh. I don't know what's up with that. That'll be that'll be interesting to solve as we go along. But yeah, I'm going to put that in the I'm just looking to have to do some reorganizing, but in the short term, let me get back to the game and the music. No Leviathan pin. No, no Leviathan pin. Only Shiva. And they all seem to be the icons that it was like, if you look up in the top left, the icons you see when you swap between them, which makes me think that the final two powers are going to be Odin and Shiva. Interesting. Interesting. I hope they sell a map of the three consonants once they lift the fog from Ilse Bar. Oh, I bet they will. And if they don't crepe, what they'll do is people will upscale that and then print those out and sell them. Fuck, I'll do that for people. Ellie, opening the game box in part seven has the same energy as this, as that post. This puzzle is advertised for three-year-olds, yet it took me only two to complete. <laughs> yeah, totally. It has an emo code, but for Final Fantasy XI. Yeah, you have 1.0 ARR, Heaven's Word, and Stormblood. So you still need Shadowbringers and Endwalker. Well, you heard it here, guys. If you have the boxes for uh, Shadowbringers and Endwalkers and are looking to get rid of them, Ray Ray's got you. Is it cloth? Yeah, it's cloth. It's a very... Some, I mean this in a good way. It almost feels like a um, placemat. Like it, it's it's not super super luxurious, but it luxurious, but it is nice. Love pins. Yeah, those pins were very nice for sure. Uh, okay, let's shall we actually get the game going then? So we are on part seven. That's correct, and we are on, I believe the second to last, but knowing my guessing, probably actually the third to last. Um part of the story. Last time we went into Dalmechia in order to get into the Crystal Dominion in order to try and break uh, uh, Drake's tail, um, the d crystal there, and things kind of went to shit as we teamed up, we try attempted to go try to team up with Dion who, in order to try and get rid of the influence on his father, attempted to get rid of Olivier as well as, to an extent, Annabella. Um, and in the process Olivier turns out to be turned out to be um, Ultima basically ended up sending Dion as Bahamut on a rampage. We fought Dion with Joshua uh, side by side and then fused together to defeat Bahamut, but not without the Crystal Dominion being majorly wrecked. Also, the Crystal itself had some weird interactions with Bahamut and also turned into a giant flower a la Yokotaro game. Uh, so that was interesting for sure. Uh... During, before that, in order to get the Crystal Dominion, we just did a bunch of stuff in, like, Dalmechia, basically. Um, wasn't super important. Um, beyond that, though, once we broke that crystal, there's now only one left, the one in Walud, and all of Storm is without a mother crystal, and since then, the skies have grown darker and dimmer. The music on most of the maps have changed, and the and while there are now areas blights, there are also now areas where the Aether has grown in too strong and dense, and their enemies and monsters have become Akashic. Um... Much to our not surprise, as we were guessing for a long time. And Zeta Flare was there, it's true. We found out that Bahamut was, in fact, at least as powerful as Donald Duck. Maps are always cloth. Interesting. If you keep doing side quests, I would say you need 10 parts. Yes. We probably may end up quit not doing every side quest. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see how that goes. But we are now on a mission to go help out the different places, the different post our destruction of uh, Drake's Tale and the world being a little bit more dour we need to go check out the different places that we've been throughout our story and uh help out see what's wrong there as they're all facing new troubles and struggles how are you lovely people doing today other than obviously that uh your your desserts that many of you seem to have attacked us out of the blue 
and there's no telling when they might be back. You best keep that sword handy, Sid. Can I just point out I totally called that they were going to make a bunch of enemies Akashic as a way of changing the world state and, like, for difficulty later on? I don't know what the exactly I said, Martha. but I basically said that. It's good to see you. And it was the point I was getting and at. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you've been attacked by Akashic. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Yeah, no, crap, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm very much planning to do them regardless. It's just a question of timing because I also have to like get back to our normal schedule assist. at some point. <laughs> More. I'm sorry, Raven. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? It's interesting that all the music all over the world changed. But much more melancholic and all the all with all the piano. Clive, wounded. Deal with the Akashic first. Also got a new router, so hopefully we shouldn't have any internet issues. These men don't have Game the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you when on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? 
not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. I mean, arguably, if he was a lookout, it makes sense, but I'll, I, it's hard for me to imagine the spacing of timing that they're close enough to be witness to getting there with wounded, but also... Moy. I guess if he was a lookout at the top of there. My dog. you could see them far off. <laughs> The question is, why does Aether move correctly instead of equally distributing itself throughout the land? Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Great. Damn Demon it. Adamantoys. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. I have witnessed you kill you something tantamount to a god. I'm pretty sure Always. this is the. Then let's do our duty. How bad is it for for where you're at, Kiko? Honestly, I'll probably just listen to it either off of YouTube or once it gets on Spotify. But that might take a while knowing them. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. 
Good luck. I realize that a fundamental part of their plan is blind faith, that destroying the crystals will, like, ultimately be better, not only for the brand and for people as a whole, but for the time that they didn't in the meantime. But right now, we're bearing witness to the fact that the Aether's returning, but not naturally sending into the land. There does not seem to be a game plan to how to deal with that. But, like, my dog. Clive, my boy, I realize you're kind of... You're kind of mainly trying to make sure that you can staunch the bleeding at the moment, but what is your long-term plan here? Like, once you destroy, uh... Once they destroy Drake's spine... They, is the Aether just gonna run rampant? How are they gonna contend for Fiends it? try to climb just the walls here, the too. Can you open the area map for a second? Yes, I can. Uh, $100 can get it for probably 70 if I order from Chan, but I need to check Squeenix site, too. The big thing with Squeenix site is a lot of times the, the shipping is crazy expensive. Like, I tried to buy that Cactar Pink thing I have, the and the shipping was, like, over half the price. And the others won't be ready. Somebody's coming. Ariman. Apologies, my lord. Great. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? I've got drama CD to get to, so I'll probably just order from TG Japan. Cool. Saves the money. I do love Japanese packaging. Glorious. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. Try turning up your uh, quality. What did you find out there? Uh, Tracy. The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back. 
but when? And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. Guardian Scarf. Symbol of trust and loyalty and undying friendship. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the duchy cannot die. Wait. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch. I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. Mm. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company False. of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that so Wade and the other guardians are, I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire... Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. I will not let you down, Lord Rossfield. You... Or my uncle. Interesting. Wonder where they mean to go with that. Let's do it in order of how we did the map. So we did Rose Cliff, or Rus uh, Rosaria, and then we'll do some Breck, and then we'll do Dalekia. Fix? Nice. Was it quality or something? Because on my end, everything Unless we cool. find Isabel. Insert foot, yeah, right, Kiko. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. Ghosts? Then a wall won't stop them. I saw it with my own eyes. And color weirdness for a second. I'm looking forward to I can't do it. that once I finish 16. Lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A kashik, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she hmm. here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. That is weird. Gotta get fixed. Okay, after we beat this, I have a question. 
Do you guys want to go More to Dalmeki, or do you guys want me to fight one of the S rank mobs? Because I know one of the S ranks is somewhere around here. I think he's probably there. The two soldiers were carrying. Madam, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you Isn't have Dominion us do? The capital at this point? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people, your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> what we need to consider <laughs> is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Roger that, Crepe. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family Good to know, thanks. I heard the flood was spreading, I don't think anyone so else... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing... I think the game points it ...things out. found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. Chrono, let's lose that interesting what you're talking about. I must have, maybe I missed something, but nothing pointed out that they were active. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I, they came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then, then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. Interesting. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Assume you have a plan. We need to find out what we can do. Some of these guys are darkening, but they're slightly reddening, which might, makes me think of the blood moon from uh, moon from uh, Majora's Mask. Look, I know the world state's supposed to be more dour, but I kind of like the overworld music more. <laughs> it's very like slightly melancholic. And were these always stopped or were they moving the last time I was here? Is the wind more lively, I wonder? Come on. Faster. Oh, 
Clyde, look. I see them. With me. <laughs> Wake and win! <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about, Chris? Walking around big fleshy legs? Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> ah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. I wonder who will be the people who like Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish fantasy. enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Like, I wonder, for people who, like, 16 is their first Final Fantasy, I mean, like, you know, it probably is their favorite soon, because, like, hey, they don't have any other reference points. For those who have played a lot of older Final Fantasies, and what I wonder can I do for who you? will be Old Guard, where 16 is also their favorite. An excellent choice. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Okay. Go 
Okay, who's ready to fight something? Something big. We're not alone. Time to fight. Yeah. <laughs> those of you who have been playing, or even those of you who are watching, how would you rate this for compared to, like, some of the other Final Fantasy games you've played? Like, and it doesn't even have to be like, oh, it ranks, you know, 7th place, whatever, but, like, would you say it ranks high, mid, low? And also, you can break down into components, because, like, gameplay-wise, I think this is, like, the gameplay for me ranks pretty high. Enemy variety ranks pretty low. The writing is interesting. When it's at its highs, I feel like it works really well. But I think it's moments to moments are kind of... They're fine. And they do pay off. They do, but, like, the moments to moments that are not the, like, highs, the actual main, like, the bigger beats, the dramatic beats, I think, are quite mild. In a way that I don't mean that there's so much they're tepid, but they're interestingly more mild. Um... I haven't played 10 or newer except 14. Okay, interesting. So you're comparing to pretty much everything 1 through 9. Yeah, which, I mean, if you're comparing 1 through 9, I mean, minus 14, I feel like, yeah, that's quite a bit of a leap. <laughs> 9 to 16 is a very different era of games. I mean, you're skipping over... 9 to 16. 9 to 16, you're skipping over PS2, PS3, and PS4. Oh my god, yes! My partner just brought me food. I'm very excited. Thank you. Same one who also bought me the, uh, the, or bought the, um, Collector's Edition, which is very nice. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, nope. What sort of Elden Ring bullshit is this? Savron, rank X. Fifty. Oh shit. This beast isn't to be trifled with. Okay, they come at me. Okay, it's just like I can deal with that. <laughs> Too slow. 
Okay, we'll come back to that later. <laughs> that hits like a truck. Honestly, I could have gotten it eventually. I'm sure if like I put brown my head against that, that's just that that's so much damage that I have to be either make sure I'm using all my potions or also just having better armor. But we'll come back to that. That's fun. It's Smog, yeah. Story-wise, definitely in top three. Gameplay, I like the old ATB more, but it's better than one to three and not as good as seven remake. Interesting. I mean, like, I know that, like, at some level, it just comes down to, like, do you like more turn-based? But, like, to me, this is the best combat Final Fantasy's ever had. But, obviously, it's going to matter on taste. Like, I seven is the best ATB they've ever done, for sure. Bastards. Is it life hasn't been hard enough around here since the... Did. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Uh -oh. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm. She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow yeah, the shouting. like taking the time to like learn how to do that fight with a no hit run would be fun. For the dragon level three, something like um, I know that I equipped the pre order bonus for the XP buff. That I mean, I'm assuming that's it, unless you did too. Honestly, I think I unequipped it. I think I might go back to oh, judgment bolt lower. Dragon. Raven God excited for the dragon. Not the highest, but well up there. 14 holding the top spot currently. For narratively or just like all around, Kiko? You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood. It's the only way. We hire mercenaries, then mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. 
Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same My thing. Name is from the Rimark. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Yeah, definitely Kiko. Makes sense. I mean, the other thing is, like, I always find it hard to compare an MMO. Like, even 1411 compare... Because, you know, you wouldn't compare this to ARR, right? But what if this game had had 10 years of, like, extended support, right? So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder... That anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake, he'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. Yeah, I totally agree, Crave. Woo! Nice, Kiko. Both versions of 7.12 are just under 14 at this point. I, it's so interesting. As a kid, I like, I liked 12, but I had a lot of problems with 12. And the, like, when I replayed it as an adult, I liked it so much more. I still think it's narrative in the back, like, third, kind of. It doesn't fall apart, but it, like, I feel like there's a lot of setup that, like, quickly rushes into a payoff. A little bit. But, but I, I really like a lot of 12, and I really like its world. I really like um, how it does Ibelis and how it, like... It's interesting because I feel like 16 is trying to do a very similar thing to what 12 did. And I don't know why I don't get the same expansive feel. Um, 
Part of it may be that even though 12 was zoned, you could walk from one end to the other. Although I think you probably can at some point in this, right? Because I think if you can probably take that, you could... At some point, you should be able to walk... You should be able to go from Delmechia into Rosaria or something, maybe from... Uh, not the Trader's Gate, because that's consulted me. Maybe once they... Maybe once this thing opens. Oh, yeah, see... Uh, no, because it'll take you to the world map, too. Okay, so... Maybe it's partly that it doesn't feel as contiguous. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but 12 felt like a bigger world, which seems ironic to me with how wide and vast these maps are. Picture it, Conrad. I'll meditate on that. Your own city. Ah, here she is. The lady of the spear herself. Conrad. May I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the Red oldest Wings. mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no, that there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt, and not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Still fucking ready. Are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. And of that shift at the end of 12 didn't help. Okay, so it's not just me that feels way. For me, it was shifting focus away from the cast you started with to focus on other characters who weren't great for me. Yeah, and it, I don't even know if, like, I think that's partly true, but I think, like, the the, the issues with, like, Vana and, and all those guys, and it, it shifts to being about something different while kind of foregoing an emphasis on the, on the like, your cast, definitely. Maybe because of the dungeons? Maybe. It could be that the dungeons in, um... You know, 50, uh, 12 are quite like are long, but also are contiguous part of the world, right? Like they're not cut out. Whereas like you have the open world and the not open world. It's like 16 has itself so segmented that it, it, it doesn't like you have, you go from, you know, okay, here's open world stuff to now hyper-focused, like really cool, you know, cool fight, big moment of action back to open world. And I think that's oh. definitely a part of it. I'm ruined. My shop. If you ever people say, I don't know if you're making fun of me, Crave, because I'm literally the person who, who like pickaxe, literally so always says 12 is an offline single player MMO, and I think that describes 16 quite well. I don't think that describes 16 quite well. I think 16 is super not an MMO because like the it, it, there's nothing about its function like it's it's pacing. It, it's like construction is much more like something like a 10. Except for instead of linearity, it, it's like expanse and contract. Whereas 12 is always like kind of like 11. It's kind of like this open world with all these side things to do and a story that you can kind of choose to progress at will whenever you want. But like four, t 10, 16 actively cuts you off from progressing. It does not let you explore the world. It does not let you. It like says you can go only this much that we've expanded it. You will go no further. And like 12 does have that at moments for sure. But it has a lot more room to, for you to like branch out and visit other places and check out other things and like do things like hunts and there's tons of hunts and there's you know there's tons of grinding and tons of different enemy types and tons of different spells and the license board and the um you know no serious yeah crepes so, so yeah so, uh, literally anytime someone mentions 12 i almost mentioned it said this earlier that like i 12 i always say 12 is an offline enemy and once, once I realized that as a kid, I appreciated it a I lot I mean, more. it may still be possible to buy something. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, 
Allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. Is that Frodo? I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, Secretly my lord, baggins. and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying <laughs> the city's stocks of barley and wine. Driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is I love worse it. than I thought. If what Lord Underhill... I want to take a second to like point this out, because I think the voice actor did that brilliantly. He was thrown off guard and starts acting it, and is kind of like unsure of himself, but by the end, he's like, get. he knows what he's saying, like he like gets it. That was a fantastic true, performance. I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return, which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Jill might be your favorite character in this game. It's a tough Thank competition. You, yeah, who are some of your others? Your performance was nothing Jill's if not great. workmanlike. She saw right through <laughs> it. Well, I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. Um... Maybe I'll play singing. So here's my thing. Star roles I think in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. I don't feel like there is enough side content in 16 that I would compare it in any way to an MMO. Um, I, I totally get what, like, there's definitely structure from 14. I totally see what you're saying in that. But the thing is, is that it doesn't, like, the fundamental structure you're getting at, the way that, like, the MSQ blocks you from continuing until you do it, which unlocks new things, totally. But, like, there's such a surface... There's such a small amount... There's such a dearth of incremental psychon to do between each mem a major MSQ thing. You get, like, two, maybe three quests. And maybe one to maybe three Notorious Marks. And it's just, like, that... And, and usually... You don't get a large amount of area to explore because, and the area that you are allowed to explore, you're already exploring as part of MSQ, usually. And so, like, to me, there's definitely sh things that are shared structurally, but it doesn't feel at all like the pacing of an MMO, where, like, it is expected Mommy, that you will be spending time doing other things. It feels more like this game wants you to stay on its path and has some other things because it's kind of. You know, it does want you to level a bit. It does little, want you to have a little bit of side questing a little bit. You know, but it, it's more of a zhuzh than it is a meal sometimes. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat that made gracefully sense, right? accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. And can you blame them? I no, have a favor to ask. 
I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the you city shall fight. Together. Mistakes I concede are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. That's funny. I, I was waiting for the person. I've been waiting this whole time. I, like, keep thinking about it, Crave. I don't feel like his his outfit um his outfit is far too generic for me. There's nothing that's like iconic or like visually particularly interesting about it. So I would still go with mid for machinist, for sure. Like to me, that looks like generic NPC number two hundred and seventy-three outfit. <laughs> the women folk have come to fuck us. I'll take that one. It's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> one of them said the women folks on the play, and Jill said, I'll take that one. They mean to overwhelm us. <laughs> Waken! <laughs> The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Together. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Come now, Victor. I will say the performance and the like... Details. We are united, 
and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. See, it's so interesting to me because, like, the writing in terms of, like, character, characters, like, it's naturalistic but playful, the banter is good, so I'm trying to figure out... I don't want to say I'm bored because it's not true. But a lot of these like smaller stories here are just not as compelling. And I'm trying to figure out why. I think it's because, like, in this case, right, this specific case, we didn't learn anything new, right? There was nothing learned. All there was is, like, you know, a small moral lesson about two groups like ah if they work together they'll be able to defeat the bandits which is fine because there's like these three missions are kind of about the like the state of these places and, and how they're going to figure out how to keep going in the meantime while things are dour and down and that's kind of like a part of like the broader tapestry of the story that's trying to be told you know for 16 but it's not that interesting so there's a lot of moments that are good they're like well crafted control. but they're not that no, interesting. at least Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. And I think that's what it is. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Lubo did right, well we had that to mission bring home. with uh, uh, Daryl. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? There wasn't enough to get you attracted to those characters. Maybe, but I don't know that I had to be super attached to those characters for, like, it to be interesting or compelling to find out things about... I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. Interesting. That? You know? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, mm. you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went. I did not. No. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell. And best of luck. God, I love these piano pieces. These, like, love these little piano pieces they have going on. Um, can you, Crape, can you not talk about it because of MSQ spoilers or for, like, later on in this, in this, uh, in this current quest? Let's go. Faster. Yeah. It's, I, I don't think the problem is necessarily character. Like, so for instance, I think this game makes me care about people like Goots, Karen, Otto, Gab. Like, I, I think like that actually works well enough. Um, 
I don't know that it's necessarily that I need to care more about the characters involved with those side quests. I mean, like, that would be one way. That would be one solution for sure, right? Don't get me wrong. Um, but part of it is just also making sure that you're expanding the world or expanding the interest or finding or having piquing my curiosity. And that's going to vary person to person, right? Through the quest. So, so an example, obviously, this is particular to me. But the Fallen guy, the guy who took us... Uh, the, when we went to the abyss, he pointed out, hey, you know, did you notice that the on this abyss, the uh, the walls of the fallen architecture are cleanly sheared, which means whatever created this cleanly cut through it. Like, there was intrigue, right? It was ultimately just a quest of just go kill some guys and, and walk or get, kill three groups of enemies. But there was at least intrigue. Right, a lot of these quests are about... Um, maybe developing the world state with a, so a small amount of information or idea that it might be relevant. So, like, for instance, Sid having a kid, right? That quest that we had early on really paid off with mid. Um. Be safe. Or the, the doing the fruit stuff earlier on, right? At least had a payoff. And so, like, some of it could be true, but some of these things might pay off more later on. Like... If the answer is just that the things don't are in isolation, not that super interesting, but ultimately are super weird, then you know, that that's that can be just And also it may just be me. It may be like you know, any number of reasons that I'm you know, me streaming it may mean that I'm like disposed to be open emotionally to the or something. I try. Quests themselves are full of like quirks or weirdness or characters or something, but there's not. Everything in 16 is very. Other than the MSQ, when it goes big moments, iconic. This must be the next luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right, let's get it back to Delamel. Let me get it, put it this way. For better or for worse, we have not had a quest where Clive got into a giant stu uh, Moogle outfit and went around handing balloons to people, right? Which, again, for better or worse, I make I no judgment on which, which one the that return is. of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? Hmm. A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twin. Hey, more references to the Outer Isles. There's some intrigue. And used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection. Oh, they're talking about a katana! <laughs> Each That's sword what they is made for that sword. one perfect stroke and for talking that about samurais. stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such a They're edge? setting up that there's a land that's, just, that's like Japan <laughs> that's somewhere out there. Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Just like katana 10, sharpening. Ten thousand yep. licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. 
Tamahagane. Why then it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Lord Byron Rosfield. And is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Thanks for being mindful, Crip. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Under whetstone. Read what that item has to say about itself. It's a lot of rock quarried on the southern continent. Okay, so it is the southern continent. Its unparalleled hardness makes it perfect for sharpening blades forged from all manner of metals from bronze to adamantite. So that is the southern continent that we keep hearing about. Maybe that's where Leviathan is. I super would do it. I'll take a DLC going to the southern continent for sure. Um, so what I think it is, so you can either, and this is just, I'm going to just talk about for my taste here, but. You can either make something really compelling because of its characters. You can make something compelling because it has intrigue in terms of... That intrigue could be, like, really fascinating, like, lore or mystery or something. Or you can have it be memorable, for lack of a better term, right? And memorability can become come from all sorts of manners, uh, things, you know, from quirkiness to what have you. The reason we don't have Clive in a Moogle outfit holding, handing out balloons is that just totally wouldn't really match stick to you, right so so it's quirk so much of it is sort of meant to be grounded that 16 kind of it doesn't it doesn't do a lot of uh, uh j traditional jrpg quirkiness right it doesn't have a lot of that um and so i think what happens i think with the thing with 16 is what its character its character writing is actually quite good i think for the most part i think it makes you care about characters like lubor who usually would give a shit about um, or at least find them well written, well performed. Um, I think from time to time it does intrigue well. The MSQ I think does intrigue really well. I think like there are places where the quests sort of do that hit, hit or miss. I think the problem I have is that just most of the quests aren't very memorable. Like they're not. There's not really something to really hold on to in terms of its memorability. I think some of them do. I think some of them absolutely do. I think about, you know, the, um, some of the, like, the branded one in Sabrek with the, the, you know, the girl who was treating the branded as her pet. I think of, you know, even this one I think was good, but I think some of them, um, a lot of them are. They, they, they're, they're not very memorable. And I think that that's where I'm finding the struggle. 16-2, let's go! I mean, look, I'd take it at this point. I don't know how 16.9 is going to end, right? Great, that would greatly change what a 16.2 would be, but I'd take it. I would definitely take a, another go-around of them getting to take advantage of this game. Basically, Tears of the Kingdom being 16, I think I would I would definitely take that. Although, I, you know, I would hope that they have the Southern Con. Stuff. Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sort, then? I did better than that. 
But I can say the purpose of those three quests mostly changing the atmosphere of the world and remembering who we fight. We don't need... Yeah, so, so Crave, I, I, I don't know if you missed it earlier, but I, I mentioned that exact same thing. I can tell that's why they're there. They're there not just to, for, to fill space. They're there for a function. They're there to remind you fighting for people. They're there to remind you the people that you have met and who you're fighting for. I, I get that. I understand mechanically their purpose within the narrative. But but they how they feel in execution instead of being interesting in their own right is like that, right? That they are a, a they are that like a reminder for that purpose rather than being interesting in their own right. Just be afraid of 16 lightning returns. Please god no. Whom we, yeah, we do we don't need perfect written quests for that but so it's not that again i think there's a difference between perfect writing and memorable quests i don't think you need to have perfect writing to be a memorable quest good to glad to have you whetstone yes but not one you'll find anywhere in valestia is that a trick i feel like that's just basic design philosophy Maybe I'm missing something. No wonder I couldn't get the same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so yeah. bad if all you ever Yeah, yeah that, that's kills. pretty clear to me. That was already a clear. Good luck on the battlefield. Your second Thanks, opponent man. would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield properly, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah. Which is no why point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy, nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just... don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August too. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. Right? I will. Right, but Rune, the reason we held that off wasn't because we we didn't think we could do it. It was just because we I needed to focus MSQ because we were running out of time for the night. Scalibur Design Draft, a diagram detailing the steps to forge a sword to rival that of a legendary king. Ooh. Assuming that's not the ultimate weapon, though. I'm assuming that comes from something else, maybe like the Chronolith, whatever. How long have I been live? Uh, about an hour and a half. Travel with your gear, or... You should be able to just... Oh, would it be? Oh, for fuck's sake, a four wire I ever... Oh, but also it's weaker, so that doesn't really help me anyways. The adventures of Sir Crandall have taken to establishing the tale of considerable history to agree that long ago the nations of Valstea were, for a short time, united under a single king and his band of loyal knights. Whether or not this was indeed crowned upon drawing sword from Anything stone else? matters still for today. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? Yeah, Bahamut's crazy. You want to know the reward from Cordalis? No, 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 I do not. I super do not want to know the reward for. When I am speculating on something that is not necessarily me asking for foreknowledge from anyone who has it, it is me out loud speculating on it so that it is written down in the stream. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I figured that, Crave. I, I understand that that's why it's weaker because you can do that quest. Guys, you see that? I don't mean this to sound mean, but like. I'm not. Like it's it's not it's not that hard to figure out. That's the reason it's weaker. 
Like, because because every it's literally how they've done every weapon in this game so far is a strict linear progression. That is like not to the like this is part of my point about like there's not a lot of option or choice in the in the weapons. So frankly, in some ways, I wish they just didn't bother giving me different weapons because it doesn't make any difference really. There's not like a there's not like an elemental alignment with the weapon that allows you to have. Some is choice. everything we've received and everything no. promised? Hugo's men are gone, and what them the fear in our hearts. Once more, uh, once more shall the market echo with mirth and merriment. What is it you who have to thank, Dalmiel Spicer? Sharp Fang, Bloody Hide, Dilson. There you are. And, ooh, 1,500 ability Best of luck out there, Sid. Okie dokie 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 dokie. Should have enough to do this. Okay, let's swap that out for pile drive. Hmm. I use gouge too much for my combo multiplier. Honestly, it makes me kind of want to aerial blast. From Weird for setting up. And let's try it. Well, we'll hold on to this for now. We'll see how it fits into the setup. There, baby. I was thinking that myself. The experience is too tight. Yeah. You could always. You, 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 yeah. No, th th I appreciate it. I do appreciate trying to, to explain it, crap. But by more my point of pointing out that it was weaker was like, well, that's useless. And my my curiosity was more in thinking like, okay, does Excalibur have any level up? Is any custom? Uh, like, can you refine it? But the thing is, I don't think there's any purple you can refine other than the main weapon that you get from MSQ drops was wondering when you turn up at ours from all our friends thanking you for your timely attention how is it you always managed to arrive at just the right moment luck i suppose any word on the rest of the realm hmm let's see storm's still crying out for mother crystals the nations are still in chaos and the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on so right Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. <laughs> Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. It's so funny, I could have sworn I know his voice from somewhere, but he hasn't voice acted anything else that I can find. He's done other acting. Joshua! Yeah, it certainly was so a moment. It was not Sylvester. For sure, Rune. Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wait. But Dion does live. Good to know. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Find this in answer, or at least whatever Joshua does know. Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. 
It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. It is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry, inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean I you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Joshua! <coughs> Clive! It's Gav! <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Great. Well, what's the short of it? Myrtle, Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Dude, are Did we gonna you? escape on the freaking? What's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that Enterprise? sounds like a question oh, for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. deliver those quest items real quick and then we can carry on. It seems the hideaway oh, is lost. Blasted book. Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. 
I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very oh, much. This is just a pickup. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan Stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out skyworm livers and drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. Have I talked to the barkeep? I don't know. I feel like I have. I usually try to press the, the chat button as I pass by people. What can I get you, Sid? Oh! Oh! Am I getting well, on? I have not. Ah, oh, about as well as you'd expect of a barmaid pouring sour ale for penniless outlaws in the middle of the Deadlands. And it'd be worse than that if Molly here didn't make the best stew this side of stone here, even if it is mostly just yesterday's leavings. Don't tell her you heard that from me, though. Okay, we're buying the round of drink. As if for the setting our people hall. free wasn't enough. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. <laughs> oh, keep your mug handy. I wonder if that's anything that I can pull. Okie dokie. Rojit's echo. So Harpocrates is definitely the scholar outfit. I'm torn now. We said Joshua was bar or bard, but I'm thinking maybe instead Joshua is that should be a good summoner outfit too. Hmm. So the other thing that's interesting to me is like there's not. Joshua's been back, but like it's I get like their dream. reunion in the MSQ Before was good. Walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. I was about to say how happy I was that we we're gonna about to have at least like a little bit of more character moments between them, thanks to like what Joshua was saying, and then immediately Clive shuts him down. I was like, okay, like I would love a little bit more of like, he, the last time they saw each other, he he thought he killed him for years, right? Well, I guess for a while he's known he's been alive thanks to the Phoenix Feather and, and what happened during the uh, fight under Sembrek, but we can use like, the ruins to cross the ravine, assuming they would allow it. The echoes have a will of their own. I want a little bit more character on the wall. You know, that makes it together. I get we're getting in the MSQ, so. Oh, right. Oh, I 
do have to aim it. Dude, if that attack has no cancellation, it's gonna be useless against enemies like the dragon. I mean, I guess it would work uh, any moment that something's not. Yeah, okay, wait, I can, as long as something's stunned. I'm using combat. <laughs> Bio for tomes, okay. That's the yeah. thing it does. I mean, that's cool. At least there's something it does. But he has no horn. Yeah, but no one has a horn. At least not yet. Also, he has no bard hat. Tell us and we still about weren't considering him for bard. She's strong willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. I don't feel like. Five is a particularly ill manners. The water's still pretty. I do. What to now then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? We are full. Well, oh, that guy looks like he's gonna help. I was trying to focus on the MSQ, but he's in some trouble. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood. Up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My old men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before... They won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... Hoko, you catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. He said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic are still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Right. I got here in time. <laughs> Yeah. 
Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. I was wondering how they were going to give us, like, I was going to give a reward when the first guy died. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Wait. That skull. Son of a whore. Oh, Kuka, is he going to try to kill us? You're sent. I was there. In Kostnitz, when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith, when you killed my commander! My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, Come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... Some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. See, now that was more memorable and actually had an optional dialogue voice. Yeah. No, there was no way in hell I was just going to end here. Not when there's a chance that he could on the or at least not move on at least feel like. Frankly, even at full rest, he's still gonna have a hard time, right? Um, what was, there's something, oh, right, I was going to swap out Bahamut's for, I'm really surprised that, like, Bahamut's done nothing for me so far. Try that on something. Stagger. 
Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. This gives me some major Algahiri vibes. Welcome, welcome. A fine choice. Anything else? A fine choice. Take care. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? Thank you, Jill. The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since They're their the inception, Sheikah. they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, That's why she was it there. was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. If it's Tharm, why is there an extra R at the end? I have to wonder. A Tharmer. Tharm. The Agora, the priest of But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. 
Forgive us. We were not aware well down there now subsisted on charity. Blame the French. How dare you? Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you hey, what the fuck up? What the is the commander? meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> Enough. Is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Eyes that bind us. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. I wonder if his Barnabas' theme, main theme was always going to use an organ. So then. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? As long as he's had mommy issues. What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Who are we going to finally see the full... Uh... And why the fuck did Joshua wait to tell us this? Nope. No parts of it missing. By the flames. The Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apolitry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it, like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I 
don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to. As it has ever wait, been my. Just, wait, 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 wait. You cannot just pass over the fact that she has an ability like the Stalos. Like, does she have a crystal in her forehead? How the fuck is that working? Member of the Undying Secret Society sworn to protect and serve Rosfield Rosarium, the dominant of the Phoenix, also was born in their line. After her order rescued Joshua Rosfield from the ruins of the Phoenix Gate and nursed him back to health, Yote was tasked by her order to accompany protect him on his journey to uncover the truth of Ultima. Okay, or can we, can anybody do that? Can anybody pass memories? Secretive order who served the lords of Rosaria from the shadows. They revere the mighty Phoenix and dominant and, uh, and its dominant, and once presided over the rights of ancestral communion at Phoenix Gate. You outside the order know of its existence, even among the highest ranking members of Rosaria nobility. This very day, with Rosaria reduced to a mere imperial province, continue to serve the rightful keeper of the flame, His Grace Joshua Ross. Oh, that was not symbolic. He was using the. Uh, I mean, maybe. I, that, to me, that was clearly a proffering of his memories of where it was in the lake. Vessel strengthened by the ties of conscience that bind Clive with others. He unleashes primogenesis upon the world, shrouding it in darkness and turning thousands akashic. And turning thousands akashic. And these ties of consciousness might at last be loose. Okay, so Ultima is the reason why the sky darkens after the crystal's death and things are going akashic and Aether unbound is not returning as it should. Not just a natural state of being. Brother's duty. Destruction. Remember. If because he, he if didn't that explain is exactly where wish, it is. Your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I. You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Maybe you're right, maybe it was just symbolic. But in which case, it's a weird choice. Let's find our friends. And she cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll at least grab that one, Crave. Cyril. How fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying Dude, and Anthony Howell is like Quill, 20 characters charged in this with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace Joshua Rosfield keeper of the flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued just how many undying are there not nearly enough milady Yet we 
are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. Set the Phoenix down. Dear For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your Grace. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. Cyril seemed very. Um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Is that the old guy? So that was the young guy. So the young guy. <sighs> How high can I go? Dude, I love how this town actually has layers. So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes to Dallas. Why won't the sky go back to how it was? I don't like it. Nor do I, dearie. That reminds me of Rogers a little long bit. Years. I... That Cyril fellow's enough fish, Dave. How are those new boots treating you? Officially, I only see like one character listed for Fortunal's voice actor, but like he did a bunch you of cool side characters for sure. Finally, no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in no ancient fairy. cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. Oh, uh, three of them, yes. to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. A people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. Did 15 or 13 have, like, people of different, like, like races? Like, like a la, like, 14 or 12. How like, are I'm those thinking, like, boots treating you? Mikote. And no, <laughs> not the 15 crossover with 14 is not what I mean. Because it's pretty and much just all the fish, don't you think? Terms of, like spoken races, right? Guardians of the crystal, first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till the end. 
Hell ends the mother's labor. No history would be complete without mention of the mother crystals. Guardians of the crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's life. Why won't the sky go back to how it was? So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes to Dallas. That was south, right? Yeah, so now there should be north. You said some on west side, so there's mm, not a scratch on them. Have you noticed the elder has been mm. coughing? West. That's north. And that one over here is east. Borders of the golden plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride, recall thy noble past. Make these rocks. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home? I wonder. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing, give praise. Her Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Uh, what did it say? Well, all of these... The great goo good Mughal guardians. Guardians, guardians of the crystal, the first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the Mother Crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? The engraving to the north is next, I think. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. Pride recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last, but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here, and thank you.
Okay. Let's get on to that MSQ. How are those new boots treating you? Beneath the flood, yes. Yeah, definitely see at least that like member of that whole like memorable character intrigue thing at the least there was very much the like sea. intrigue there about the world definitely wor worth uh taking some time to do i just have a heart out by nine tonight because i have um uh, uh rating to do and since i titled this one for going to odin assuming we we're gonna hit odin for, uh i have to make sure that we get to Walud. Must be rid of them. Attack is going to be very interesting when fighting larger opponents. Like I realize that part of the reason I think they gate progress is Clive. is because they want to like Smoke. keep things a certain. Is the city fallen? Like the world state, it's partly about the world state, right? You don't want to introduce a quest that like kind of requires earlier events to have happened. But man, imagine if like all the quests in all of Delmechia were uh, uh, available and you could go to any of the like cities and stuff right from the get go, and you could just take. Time to do what you want. Now, I realize part of the problem is that you become overleveled for the MSQ also pretty damn fast. Yeah, definitely creep. That's definitely my point. Yeah, episode eight. The Odin few men are still real. holding their own then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. You have enemies level with you to a certain degree, like FF8. Yeah, I'm torn. I don't. I tend to not like systems that are uh, like adjust the levels as you go because then you like. What's the point of leveling if everything else is just leveling with you, right? Because you're not like. I mean, the answer is like, okay, you're gaining your own internal strength, but at that point, like, just make it so there's no levels and just make it that so that there's only the ability point system as your means of progression, right? Um, and I think that honestly, there's also some strengths to that in that it means that your old ability points are, you know, that's a lot of lateral 
it's not a lot of straight progression in terms of increase. Like, obviously, upgrading your skills matters, and, like, okay, if you get really powerful skills and slot them in, those that could be helpful. But, yeah. Okay. Free cities of Camper. From humble beginnings did a handful of village join to form a staunch alliance that now control much of the realm's mercantile trade. Yeah. Sounds like thunder. Like rain. Honestly, I'd be totally fine if in this game there was only the <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing that was a nice handle. callback earlier on. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. Oh! That's her full name. Mid My lady. Dude, is Joshua hey. getting with mid? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I have a mighty need. Someone's already right in that ship. Dude, there's gonna be so much fan fiction in this game. Holy fuck. My Oh right, boy. Byron hasn't Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you! I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> no. So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in this city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district. Or you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. Let's escape on the Enterprise, baby! Doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful, both of you. You too. I really thought when I first started playing this game that I thought Clyde was so much more going to be so much more of a vengeful individual driven by right, Togo. Let's find those survivors. It really is more driven by love than anything though. Love for they don't stand a chance against those things. Fuck. <laughs> They're wearing 
not broken. Night, Tracy! try the tornado on one enemy that has like an actual stun bar at some point in here and then after that I'm going to probably switch it back to having it just run blue skill because as much as that's technically more powerful the cooldown on it means that I actually get less I think staggering damage off over time. Screw the bird, I want to give Gav a little kiss, yeah. I want Joshua to pet Joshua to maybe the Phoenix one. Raven, you want to be like one of those early 2000s kids uh, fantasy books with the characters on the front riding a dragon or something, but on top of Joshua's Phoenix one. I tried to dodge, I tried to Phoenix one, I dodge. Let's see how Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, over time he doesn't get another attack, but I can barely see what's going on. That's gonna give me a little bit of
You make a summoner retainer with Joshua cosplay. Name him Joshua. That, there's an idea. Make him a Lollafell too. That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Joshua. There may still be survivors in sight. Someone made Dion theme glam in 14 for Summoner Dragoon. Yeah, I have to assume Dragoon, right? Yeah. There's definitely going to be a bunch of 16, or at least 16 inspired ones, right? I'm looking forward to the first, uh, first time I see a red mage that's Jill. You've caused quite the commotion, but then I would expect no one. less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt, and now you're here with an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains 
in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done, as you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am Sleipnir of House Harbor. And you He's Sleipnir? Of course. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Head slow. Nice try. Waken! Forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Muthos.
Sanguine Insignia. After taking up the mantle of Lord Commander of the Knights of the Royal Waluders Army upon Sidolphus Tealman's ultimately resignation, Slepnir's Halberd served King Barnabas. Slepnir Harbard served King Barnabas for a better part of a decade. Intriguingly, however, there are no records of a house Harbard ever existing in either Veldermark or on the southern continent. Begging the question, where whence exactly did he hail? He didn't. Uh I must draw your attention to the fact that this man is a horse. Uh, yeah, very much so. That's, that's why, yeah. Jill Mage. It was one of the Bigs and Wedge. I bet Bigs and Wedge might show up somewhere. If we kill Dion, would that make him a drag? I'm afraid I may not understand the joke. Right, but you want to help me understand. is strong. My. Dies, is he just returned? Out of a horse? How does this work? You're all right. As are you, I see. Drag gone. Okay. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Yep. <laughs> Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharn, warden of Ash and king of Walu. Get back. who bested my lord commander yet i see why my master covets you so the power within you mythos the potential <laughs> stop calling me mythos but mythos is everything 
cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Oh my god, Torgal over here, pulling a Sif. Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Some time later. To the outskirts, the free cities of Canberra. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. Why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. <laughs> all right. And how is he? Tetsued like iron can. Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him. If it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow it's me, it's... your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. Putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You 
you're awake. My boy. Oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the world would save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, a lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> I love that you saw the moon in the We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the king. I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? <sighs> well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings. If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Yeah, Zan, like, cutting, beheading, or not, like, like beheading, Tetsu, like, iron, Ken, like, bird. so, yeah, literally, like, iron cutting sword, iron beheading sword. Yeah, I, I never thought about the, I never thought about that infinite, but, yeah, that makes sense. Does Joshua have Graha's VA? I don't think so. Also, Dez, good to see, glad to have you. Uh, Joshua VA. Jonathan Case, not Jonathan Bailey. Uh, Jonathan Case, as far as it says, is no other credits. Man, they use a lot of unknown voice actors, kind of like what they did for 14 for in video games, which makes sense. They probably use a lot of stage and television actors from like uh, from the UK. They seem to have really good luck with that in 16, and they probably kept costs down, but also performances were great. And also, the voices weren't as familiar. Honestly, only the only voices for the most part that I've noticed that have been the, like that I've been able to find names for for things that I've known were 14 like other than that it's been a lot of television in like the UK specifically and like some things I've seen but still pretty bit parts in most of those it's been very interesting this reminds me when you fight Garuda and Ifrit in 14 in intro cutscene camera focuses on the moon well eclipse in the case of Ifrit but it was mostly for some effort Yes. Right. That's that's an interesting thing. I didn't think about. Gav that. said that Otto might know something. I remember, we're focusing on the MSQ, so we're going to be leaving the side quest to the side for now. I think my my opinion on that is maybe with dominance and stuff with, with dominance and icons. I think Metia has lots has like the fact that they focus on it. So much from the get go, and then it's been around in almost every to do our shot. The hills are crawling I think it's gonna have a role. Play. But hey, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. God. Maybe I'm just putting too much stock in it. But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. What's everyone's favorite name for Primal's icons? Because there's summons, Primal's icons, you and You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least Espers, everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But 
We were able to oh, save a few wins. bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Father like daughter. Yeah, I mean, surprising no one. I just, I love the word Aeon. I wish they would reuse it. If yeah, Amber, Espers, Idolans, Summons, Primals, Icons. Do you think this ship will ever sail? It's funny, they've actually used a lot of terms for that. Primals, but maybe because it's easier for me to say with my speaking issues. Yeah, fair enough, Raven. I think Icons, actually. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Bet you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Pipes? Does he mean like a musical instrument? Did we ever see him playing pipes? Or does he mean cigarettes? Because like he always holds it in his own. I mean, he doesn't mean like a literal pipe. Like a... We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. What's this tucked inside it? Middle. Middle. I know you'd like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best. So, and so when you're choosing its, pa its place of rest, I recalled your opus, Daughter's Dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck, Sid. Sid's best invention. That sounds promising. So Sid hid Pretty something sure in Mid's first it. opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. For me, summons sounds too game mechanic y, I guess. Yeah, I, I I would tend to agree. It's okay when you call them like that in a guide or somewhere, but not in universe. I think in I think it's totally fine in universe because like outside of universe feels like game mechanically, but in universe. It totally makes sense that someone would use a descriptor for what it literally is, right? You know, they are a summon. They are summoned by summoning. Have you noticed there are more ether floods these days? Some say the skies are to blame, but then there were ether floods before all this, weren't there? Makes you wonder. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, that's my least favorite for sure. Don't love Eidolons. It's still better than Summons. Esper has got a kind of a nice ring to it. Icon. I think Icon and Aeon are the two that I like the better, the best. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first Opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrian. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, oh. 12, when she cobbled that thing together. It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. So that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Icon just feels like a powerful word. You're already saying Icon is iconic. And you can feel the importance with the etymological connection to Iconic. Oh, you literally may if I just waited a second. Icon sounds cool even if the word is engraved in our brain by this point, thanks to Gaius. I can never really say Icons, right? I've been trying for the last few minutes now. 
Just think like 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 a cam like icon like I O C O N I C O N like you know like a camera icon or a I con Nick like an I like con like pros and cons and then Nick like the like a boy's name. I That's didn't iconic, break it. and then icon. It's but just I didn't icon. Break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. Now I kind of want to rip that model in 3D prints from our customer. And you had nothing to do with this. No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. We didn't do anything. We just wanted to be, have it, wanted to play everything all at once. This, this everything caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can you fix it? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it! He more than fixed it! Yeah! New music! Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Don't That's awfully a big thing for something to be caught on. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of this, as well. This is Sid's theme? Indeed. It is, right? Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Look. Far me be it for me to talk about suspension of disbelief, but like, what is the likelihood of not only the kids figuring out that is broken right there and then, and that like, I know it's a fantasy game, but like, we had that thing for how many years, and of course they figured that out right then. Oh, it is its theme crepe. Okay, thing. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion oh, Dion's up. Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. <laughs> oh, then at least try to stay safe. But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Based on how long it's taking for us to even go to Valud, I'm starting to think that this episode, I need to rename this episode Odin and Camper. The flagship sails. I have to get back. Or maybe I should just rename it Odin's Enterprise. But I'm punch. Oh, 
Okay, now that we're starting to build up a backlog of side quests, I'm going it. Odin, just Odin. The Ironworks. Oh, it's called the Ironworks. I did. I missed that before. We had mid in five, right? I wonder if we'll see, ever see another mid. Was mid in Final Fantasy V the last time we had mid? I can't think of another. That's not the name of Sid and Seven's daughter, right? I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ine is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Fourteen has right. Okay, technicality, what but do fair. You know of Barnabas Tharm. Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword. Odin's sword can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this core was meant to be hidden! Ugh. Mid! Company! Eh? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bollocks! All hands! Man your stations! If this thing doesn't fly at some point, I'm gonna be sad. Everyone with me?
That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. What is she ready You heard to fly? the captain. <laughs> Clive. And he's back. But, but I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. He's Odin's steed. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. I was entirely wrong that he was Icon associated. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. That's just... Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Tyrion is the best. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rossfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bother me! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friend. It is not blood that runs through in Eddie's veins. These foes will not fall easily. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. Praise be the Baron. Escaped. Now, mate! All right, engine go ahead! And hold on tight! I'm kind of sad no one has said shiver me timbers. <laughs> 
Naldia Nero. Yeah, fair point. Then at fair point. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. cities of the enterprise now back to your stations every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon i don't suppose mid has a spare engine are they really going to row all the way Since back? Since you rose Sunday? from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good D luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio. Oh yeah. I'm kind of glad he's not going with me. Yeah, put him at great risk. Do keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Twinside, the Holy Empire of Sembrek. Oh, Dion. Greek of mercy. What have I done? Buddy, it's not your fault. 
Medicine girl. My lord. Oh, hey guys, who's ready to do the Siren Song Sea Dungeon? <laughs> Blessed with mild currents and warm waters, the Narrows allows for swift travel to the Dominion, or Flam and Stone Eater, without having to circle through the dangerous outer sea. What if you let me go south and see what the continent is missing you? Let's go, I need to <laughs> between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Is this where Sails we Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Oh, okay. Four pirates. Look alive, boys! Pull ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye! Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. We're gonna love. Lover's gonna love. What do you wanna? What do you want? Fascinating. Is not my blade cannot sever. Dude, we just got the Enterprise. Great Gregor's Gash! Now, when they say Great Gregor's Gash, she's female, so are they referring to her vagina? Or are we get, do we have a Thal's Ball situation here? There's the Matron's Teats. I don't know about the... I'm forgetting about the Navigator one. Through the Maelstrom. Speaking of 14. Why did you hide, Hephaenibus? That's 
done it a little harder than your being a second. I'm just gonna imagine that they put the fire retardant material from the engines on the uh, Enterprise as well. Swapping over to playing as Joshua now. Oh, <laughs> 
go. She must be here somewhere. I'll explain later. Hands. Can you walk? Out of here I can. <laughs> Just realized both in 7 and 16 Stand the dragons are the terrorist militia. Phoenix. I mean, he's not really an eco-terrorist, though. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. More of a revolutionary. For, for the brand, for his people. Oh, boy. Why exactly is Odin so much stronger? Of Pirates of the Caribbean. World's ending, everybody? Holy shit. Wait, why isn't the water like coming back down? Man, being lost at sea is a common thing in Final Fantasy, isn't it? Some extent or other. Four, two. Can you go on? Kind of three. Ten. I think so. <sighs> Odin is Moses. But you're not destroying the Mother Crystals to save the planet, you're destroying but the Mother Crystals to, to save where? the planet. You don't actually know that it will save the You know it might, but you don't fully understand its ramification. Although I guess this is kind of true. Joshua, the phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. 
This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Okay, but this is understandable. Can't, Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. I'll say, as long as there's a choice, there's a chance. But... Now, it, it is time, time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you? You know not of this world or of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. is the light of hope severed! <sighs> you would yield so soon. Never. Clive! <sighs> Not 
not see. Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to God? No. Now this is a JRPG. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men like you and me. Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look 
Clive bested and gives us the victory music. Uh. Damn, even as a tight DPS check, he really is Odin. Warrior of Blight. Okay, he destroyed him. Save the planet, I think that was counts. Yeah, no, you're right, wrong, Crate. By Gregor's groin. <laughs> technically, this makes a, wi a wild consequence of making Barnabas technically a paladin serving as god. Yeah, I lost. Ganon. Residual light aether having failed to dissipate on the battlefield is instead manifest in a solid form, not unlike crystal, but with the elemental purity that renders it far more potent, if not highly specialized in its application. Increases impulse will damage by. The Shadow Coast, Western Ash. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they would have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? That's yeah. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then. To the man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? <laughs> Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself? I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. If 
this is what you want, then... Don't worry, Clive. It is. This burden... I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. We might one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I thought a smile could bring me so much joy. Yes! Yeah, for lack of a better way of putting it, that is the most intimate scene of Final Fantasy has ever gotten. Yeah, I don't relate to that at all. Like, for a couple of years of their life, she was raised as, like, within their household. But, like, they're not... Yeah. They've spent way more years fighting together than they ever did even in, in the Rosalith household. That was a, those were multiple lifetimes ago at this point. Honestly, I don't. I find it more weird when people are perturbed by things like that than like the context. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our path will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. <laughs> Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. 
The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on Storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. We get all the way to Ash, and then, of course, we have to immediately go back. What is this bullshit? Also, wait. Uh, question. From their standpoint, how the fuck are they getting back to the hideout? The hideaway? <laughs> like, like, they don't have a ship. Are they just walking all the way across here through the Crystal Dominion? Not swimming. Mid says... Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard. The place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? Oh, We've done okay, our right. best to shore up that hideaway. I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. I missed the last little bit of that cutscene, so that must be why I just missed that the... That answers that question. Power of Ice. Clive has claimed a portion of Icon Shiva's essence. Attuning with Shiva not only charges the other, but blood mutual stuff. Shiva's iconic feet, Cold Snap, can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward, or back to either dodge attacks or close in on enemies. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tali will allow it. Odin's the final one. I need I should go check the lore entry real quick about the water icon. Now I'm going crazy. River icicles that greatly knocks back enemies, holds button down to increase potency. Good damage, not less stagger. Multiple shards of ice that upon striking enemy lighter enemies draw them towards Clive can be used in midair. Okay, that I like. Ooh, and can be used in midair. Yes, I'm looking for you. I'm in a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped inside. Fire sorcerer. And Clive. Okay, and what's my what's her ultimate? I'm in a winter storm that freezes enemies in place. Ooh, major stagger. Yeah, okay, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Honestly, we, we could also refund this potentially, and then what we could do is use judgment. That might work well. These permafrost duration. Why don't we just use it as is for a little bit? See how that goes. Thanks though for that for Crape for, for pointing that out. Let's go visit the boy. I'm assuming I can't teleport anywhere right now until Oh no I can. Okay. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. 
Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Where are you at, Dion? Nameless slum. Crystalline dominion. this place <gasps> don't move It's fresh from the well. Have a good one, Crip. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. I'm not expecting Dion to continue to be such a character. It was my poultices that it. saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit?
Phoenix. It would seem that I owe you my wings. Do you keep showing Metia? Are we going to space? Perhaps. A Bahamut? He can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Dyer. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. <laughs> I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask uh, Molly if you can look uh, in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king wow. still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, yeah, quite I was untouched about that. by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, well, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men 
and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. The last scene was very Walud. Well, it was definitely on the shores of Lude on the shores of Walud. Honestly, maybe I should bring in the episode of that. Lude in Walud. That's so tempting. See, Infinite, I didn't know that they showed that. <laughs> I mean, I assumed it was Odin because the pins we got this morning at the start of stream. I have no reason to assume otherwise. Well, Clive, you must listen to this. Lorsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered Do appears tell. to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think it's not. It's all good, Infinite. I mean, have. it was very clear that was the But there the was once one a time was. when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait. You said it waned on Storm. What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But... If no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy <laughs> of my old Mental Chronicles copy. all along. I am relieved hey, to discover it mentor? in good hands. I shall guard oh. it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. I avoid in most promos, infinite, but I mean, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter now. If it please your grace, might I one day borrow the Chronicles for a short while? Of course, Lawsman Hippocrates. You need but ask. I can I really not talk to him? Oh, I got it. I can ride the Enterprise now. My apologies. 
By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. <laughs> Infinite. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Oh, hey, interesting. Over on the table, you can see um that one quest. The the guy who made the like little dessert things. Look what the curse breakers brought back from Dalmechia. Said they were all the rage in Dalamil. Looks sort of funny if you ask me. <laughs> I'll be damned. Have you had one before? Something smells good. What are we having? So there was like a baker who like wanted Gods. to remember the Drake's did. Fang. You should so he made these one. in the image of Drake's Fang. The bloody great hole in it. Who are the rest? <laughs> it's supposed to be hollow, silly. Haven't you ever seen Drake's Fang? That's cute. What do you recommend? I guess I'm turning in a quest to him as well, but this is why I want to check something. Norseman Harpocrates, I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's Mint. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. <sighs> now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. <sighs> Oh, very simple. Oh, very One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the Drake's mint? Saint's bonnet in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. 
in which regard fried mortis of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Okay. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. Part of the Mother Crystal. The bright convolution of shards that sits at the center of each Mother Crystal. When a heart shatters, so too does the mountain around it. Sometime... Since time immemorial, sanctuaries have been built around the hearts for the worship and protection of these irreplaceable treasures. The hearts, however, have their own methods of self-defense, replying, repay, replying to any attack upon them with unique and deadly magics. Lost Mother Crystal. When Sidolphus Telemann put his plans to destroy the Mother Crystals in motion, five of their number to towered over the twins. Three less than Ultima set into place eons past. Called it. So there was one per element. So there should have been... Yeah. The Mother Crystals of Zemeckis was the first to fall. Interesting. Followed by Drake's Horn in Southern Ash and Drake's Eye in Northern Territories. We knew about, we didn't know about Zemeckis and we didn't know about Horn. Now nothing remains of them save for the scars left behind by the passing. So who was breaking them before? And Ultima also put them in place for sure now. Mother Crystal of Zemeckis and Drake's Horn. Let's, we should look at them after. Oh, Magitek. A term that appears in early histories of the fallen civilization described their highly advanced magical technology of which the airship is the best known example. They also produced weapons all but indistinguishable from living beings, yet whose destructive power rivaled that of the gods of legend. The early chroniclers labeled these beasts the iconoclasts, and it is from these terms that the icon of the present day take their root. Hmm, interesting. Guild has been a common currency of Elstea ever since the signing of the Continental Accord many centuries ago. The Accord entrusted the administration of the currency to the realm's most trusted merchant guild, headquartered in what would later become the Free Cities of Canfer. The new currency took the name from the founder of said merchant's guild, the legendary trader Gilbert, Golden. Trade flourished around the newly established mint, and over time the worship of money grew into a full-fledged religion. The Great Bank of Gilbert, uh, Gilbert the Lender. Okay, Zemeckis. Mother crystal, a mother crystal that is believed to have stood in the area in the northeastern part of Dalmechia. Legends tell that it was destroyed in a battle between men and gods. A battle so ferocious that it left behind the great crater that can... Interesting. So it was in this... It was right next to Drake's tail? It's an odd place for it. The only mother crystal that isn't like seeming strategically placed around. You wish to study the tomes? Okay. Well, let's think about it. If we think about the elements, right? Well, maybe when that was lost, that's also why Leviathan was lost? But okay, so there would have been one somewhere in here. That would have been either lightning or wind. Okay. Light. Darkness. Water? I actually don't know if we know what the Crystal Dominions one would have been associated with. Fire, ice, earth. So that means obviously lightning, wind, and lightning, wind, and and water. The three remaining. So the question is, what were the, of the three that were destroyed before? What elements were they associated with? On this continent, wind or lightning would have made sense. Although, hmm, said from being beyond. Hmm, interesting. Okay, here's Good the thing I wanted to friend. talk to Harpocrates about. What subject shall we consider today? Ooh, wait, what's this? Veldemir, formerly the most powerful kingdom in Ash until Barnabas Tharmir Tharm, Tharm led his army's rebellion against its rule and established his own kingdom of Walud upon its still smoking roof. Um. So, first off, Bishiri. Oh, interesting. So, Ifrit Risen has taken the place of what I thought was going to be the water icon. So, maybe they're just. Isn't one, unless it's Typhon, which would make sense. There's still obviously these two things missing, so maybe there's more yet to learn. But, but um, maybe it's in Mysteries of the Realm. Crystals, crystal. Ooh, the Crystal Flower. When Drake's tail came under attack by a maddened Bahamut, the heart of the Mother Crystal responded by delving into its attacker's innermost thoughts and summoning into creation that which most plagued his tortured soul. The wyvern tail that represented the trust 
Prince Dion, Dion's father place in him and his doom. Um, that's why it became. It doesn't explain why it became a flower. Well, oh, because of the flower of Sambrek, of course. Icon. Shattered aspects of Ultima's power given flesh by human hosts. It is the two wardens, Fire Phoenix, that together comprise the perfect form of the I uh, form, the icons of the lesser elements serving as sacrifices to Mythos's altar in order to test and bolster the vessel. Wait, comprise his perfect The icons of the lesser elements. Interesting. So two wardens of fire, Phoenix and Fury, together comprise his perfect Magical beings of godlike strength who dwell within human hosts known as dominance, only emerging with the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total, each with unique elemental affinity. It's commonly held that two icons of the same element cannot coexist, but none have ever witnessed all of these rare creatures together conjunct. So this this states that there should be a icon of water, unless it's saying the eighth. Because because it the, uh, if we read this right, magical beings given godlike who dwell within human hosts known as dominance, only emerging with the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total. So if you assume if it is counted in that, then it, there isn't a water one. However, each with a unique elemental affinity. Well. If it and Phoenix shouldn't have the same elemental, uh, do, uh, have the same elemental affinity, so that can't be the case. It's commonly held, and then commonly held, the two icons of the same element cannot coexist. So there should be one of water. You are always welcome, Clive. Miss it, I can ride the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She's yeah, but but it, but it, for it being impossible doesn't matter with that because it's recorded that there are eight, one of each, each with its own elemental affinity, right? So even if it's impossible, it should that shouldn't matter. I just love this small uh, 16 pixel remaster scene of Clive retelling his adventure. Yeah, iconoclasm, also the name of Eden fight. Yes, is the act of destroying religious objects, including icons. So in the universe, icon was coined after icon destroyer. Interesting and funny. Good point. Am I able to? Okay, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it there for tonight. I gotta go do some raiding. But I'm also thinking I may start earlier. To, I'll try to start earlier tomorrow, and I'm thinking we may just go until I'm done tomorrow. But we'll, we'll see. It depends on if Niniri has time to do Final Fantasy IV in the morning or not. Um, but either way, guys, thanks so much for joining today. Um, then real blast, and the, the plot thickens. Yeah, totally, Raven. Totally. I hope you're feeling a little bit better. Um, yeah, friendly reminder, we're going to be wrapping this up probably either tomorrow, or if we don't finish quite on tomorrow, we'll finish Friday. Uh, beyond that, though, we'll be back to our normal schedule next week. We'll be looking forward to seeing you then. Do the YouTube stuff. Yeah, don't forget to like, uh, click the like button real quick. Uh, comment down below, yada, 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 all that good jazz. If you want to support us, you can go over on Patreon.com. Uh, you can give us a couple of dollars, and it goes along. You can get your name in the thing above my head, as well as a color on the discord and some and your name in the uh credits of videos when they come out i uh it also just helps very helpful and support, it helps support the channel um but yeah should be about it i'm enjoying final fantasy 16 it's gonna be i'm i'm really enjoying it i'm also interested to be like have it in the rear view mirror to think about on it in comparison to the How other do final you fantasies That's split right. the sea you reckon i reckon we're better off not knowing question. God, that sounds like Maximus voice actor. So give me one second. I just want to make sure that Maximus voice actor isn't like. Uh, voice actor. It's gotta be, right? <sighs> what? So he's in this game and provides additional voices. You know whose other voice he provides? Slutnir's. Huh. Wild. Would have never guessed that in a thousand years. Okay. I'm headed off, guys. I've been Elio Forsteron. Hope you all have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.